friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and in today's video I am doing another weekly challenge. It has been a while since I've done one of these but I have seen all of your comments asking that I do one of those videos where I dress in different styles for a week. So when Dolls Kill reached out to me asking if I wanted to work with them I thought this was the perfect opportunity and that is when I came up with the idea to dress as different dolls from Dolls Kill for a week because if you guys aren't familiar on the website Dolls Kill they have a bunch of different like dolls which are basically kind of like style inspiration and they're all extremely different. So just a disclaimer so you guys know Dolls Kill did send me these clothes free of charge so without further ado let's just get on into it. So on Monday, day one, I dressed up as Coco. So Coco is probably the doll that I relate to the most style-wise. She is very girly, very extra, but she is a little more girly than I would personally dress. So it was very interesting dressing as her. Morning, happy Monday, everybody. I am dressing up as the doll Coco today, which I'm really excited for. So I have my base makeup done and I'm now going to do my hair. So from looking at the Coco section on the Dolls Kill website, a lot of the models wear their hair fluffy like mine is naturally and like in that cute little half up half down hairdo. Alright, I'm now going to put on some fake lashes and some pink lipstick because I think that goes with the Coco vibe and then it's time to get dressed. All right, Breeze, this is today's outfit dressed up as Coco. So I am super duper girly. I'm wearing this dress that's obviously from Dolls Kill. I love this. I love the fun and cute little colors on it. And then to go with that, I have this gorgeous pink purse that is covered in fur and then it has a cute little holographic design on the back. So it is super girly. The only issue is, is that the dress is a little bit too short. So I am wearing some cycling shorts underneath just to make sure that I don't flash anyone today because the plan for today is to go to Kmart, which can be deadly because I go in needing one thing and come out with lots. So I'm going to take you guys with me today to see how I go dressed up as a Coco. So let's get on to it. So I am at Kmart, slowly filling up my trolley. And I honestly don't feel that bad about my outfit. I honestly feel quite confident in it. <laughs> and I didn't expect that, but I think it's because it's something I would normally wear. So it's pretty good. I'm honestly getting too much stuff that I didn't come here for, but that always seems to be the way here. So it is what it is. So I'm now home from Kmart and I really loved this outfit it wasn't like I didn't feel like I was standing out like a sore thumb which is what I expected in this colorful fit but no no one really noticed which was awesome but yeah overall I really like this outfit it kind of sucks that it's too short so maybe I'll turn it into a top like I might cut it or something but I really enjoyed wearing this today Tuesday was very interesting as this doll was extremely out of my comfort zone and that was the doll Mercy. So she is a bit of a goth doll, loves to wear all things black and not gonna lie, I was a little nervous for this day. I wasn't too sure how I was gonna feel in the outfit because it's just so different to what I usually wear, but it actually wasn't too bad. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So I've looked on Dolls Kill and it seems that all of the blonde haired girls in Massey's closet just wear their hair out naturally like you know no not like dead straight or anything so that is fine by me so I'm gonna wear it natural and puffy today the main difference I need to make is to my makeup so I'm gonna do a black eyeshadow a black lips and I'm really excited to see how it looks so I will show you guys when it's all done all right this is my makeup for the day. Now I'm not the best at makeup, hence why I do fashion hauls and not makeup videos. So I just tried my best to do as much black eyeshadow, eyeliner, and lipstick as possible. And it's definitely different, but it's gonna look even more different when I get out of my PJs and to put on this outfit. All right, you guys, this is my outfit for today. So I firstly have this long sleeve black top with these little stars on the bottom here. I'm not sure if they're meant to be pentagrams or something like that, but yeah, it has the stars and then I have this black lace shawl. So both of the tops are from Dolls Kill and I've just paired it with a leather skirt. So this is definitely out of my usual style, but I honestly kind of like it. It's very 
free flowing and fun to wear and it just looks I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder I'm so sorry I know it's annoying but I just look so different and I'm honestly kind of living for it so I am starving because it took me forever to do this makeup I know it doesn't look that great but like I had to keep wiping it off so we are gonna go get some lunch and just see how this outfit goes okay I've just gotten to Macca's so let's go order some food and see if the people working notice my makeup and look at all I don't think they will because they'll probably be like you know focus on their job but we're gonna see anyway here we go folks I'm so nervous Oh my gosh. Hi. No, large fries and small fries. Yes. Just card, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Look at her eyes when she saw me. So she started talking to her little, like, you know, going through what I ordered. And she looked at me, like, was talking. And I looked over it. <laughs> That was too good. Oh my god, poor thing. She looked like scared. All right, we're pulling up to the next window where I get my food. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh my gosh, the other cup did the same. Ah! Okay, hang on. Let me pull over so I can talk. But oh my goodness, both. Of the girls who, like the girl who sent me the, the girl who gave me the food, their eyes like bulged when they saw me. I don't think I look that different. Like I know I look different from what I usually wear, but not from like ordinary people, you know? Some people dress like this, it's no big deal. And I've messed up that part. Wow, why am I like this? Why am I unable to drive like an actual adult that I am? Okay, so wow, I have scared a lot of children, which is, I mean, as I was saying, I know that I look different from me, but I don't think I look that different for everyone to like bulge their eyes. Like, damn, some people are really judgmental because if this was my everyday wear, that would be so insulting. So that was interesting. On a Wednesday, I dressed as Willow. So Willow is kind of like a hippie sort of vibe, something that you would see in a coastal town and is actually what a lot of people in my town, Brisbane, like to wear. So it's a style that I've wanted to experiment with forever. So I was really excited that today was the day to try it out. Good morning, everybody. So I am first of all gonna do my hair. I am gonna do it in some curls because that's what I noticed that most of the models were wearing in the Willow collection. So let's do some loose curls and then I'll move on to makeup. Okay, I finally finished curling my hair. It took forever. Honestly, I should have just worn my natural hair because my natural hair is curly. I don't know why I didn't just wet my hair and do that. But anyway, we have the curls in. Now that I've done my hair, I'm going to do my eyeshadow. So I'm thinking of doing like a pink look. So hopefully that will look really cute. Okay, I've just finished doing my makeup and I've done this pink look. I'm not the best at makeup, so I just did what I could. So now it is time for the outfit. I am so excited because it's so cute. So let me show you guys what I'm wearing today. And this right here is the completed look for today with this gorge dress from Dolls Kill and also this little purse as well. So this is the completed Willow look and honestly I'm kind of feeling it. I normally wouldn't wear anything like this and I can't say that I would again if it wasn't in a challenge. But I do appreciate this style and I love this style of dress. I really just love how colourful it is. It makes me feel very cheerful in it. So. The plan for today is that I am actually filming a YouTube video today. So I am filming a Q&A for my vlog channel and I'm going to wear this outfit with this hair and makeup that is different to what I normally wear and I'm not going to address it. So I'm not going to say that like, you know, I'm filming a doll's kill for a week video. I'm just going to rock this and see what people say. My curls are already starting to fall out on one side and I haven't even started filming the Q&A video yet. Hey Boos and welcome back to my vlog channel, Annalise's Live. Today's video is a Q&A. So after filming that YouTube video, I got a lot of compliments about that dress. I was actually surprised. A lot of people picked up that it wasn't my usual style, but no one guessed that it was for a video. As I said, I didn't think anyone would. But yeah, so a lot of people were saying that they really liked it. One of my good friends, Taylor, actually messaged me saying that she loved what I was wearing. So I got a really positive response from that, which is pretty cool. 
cool. Maybe I should experiment with that style a little bit more. So on Thursday, it was time for me to dress up as Darby. This doll is kind of edgy, I would describe her as. She's punk rock, something you would see at rock concerts, and I honestly felt so cool in this style. It was a lot of fun to wear, so let me show you guys. All right, I have just finished my makeup. I honestly love the long eyeliner. I need to start doing that again, and it just looks like it's not me, it's my alter ego. So I'll show you guys the outfit as well. I am wearing this top from Dolls Kill that's all ripped up, paired with some fishnet leggings and then some jeans. So it's definitely not something that I would usually wear, but it is what my alter ego named Darby is wearing today. So I really need to get going because I am running late to see my friend Ellie and I'm interested to see what she thinks of this outfit. So let's go. So I've been wearing this for a while now and Ellie behind the camera is shook by it. So, what do you think of my new look? I think I was meant to make with Annalise and I don't know where she is. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> and Friday, the lucky last day of dressing like a doll's kilt doll, I was dressed up as Candy. Candy is pretty much festival wear, so all of the outfits you'd expect to see at a rave are in Candy's closet. So definitely not what I usually wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but it was a lot of fun at dressing up like her. Okay, so I am going to do a bunch of little buns on my head because that's what Candy is wearing in the main photo. So that's what I'm gonna do today, definitely not something I usually do slash have ever done before in my life, so that will be interesting. So I have finished doing all of the little buns. It took forever and there are so many bobby pins in my hair. So for the makeup, I'm thinking that I need a lot more highlighter. My highlighter is actually um, holding on my camera right now, so I won't be able to show that. But I'm going to put on a lot of highlighter and some fake lashes and then it's time for the outfit. Alright, that is my hair and makeup done. As you guys can hopefully see, I'll go into the light. I have packed on the highlighter. So now it's time to put on the outfit and it is very interesting. So let me show you guys just what it looks like. And this right here is the outfit. It is very outrageous, very in your face and very rave worthy, just like Candy the doll. So the top and the skirt are obviously from Dolls Kill since this is dressing like different dolls from Dolls Kill for a week. And I actually really like this outfit. I think it would be so much fun to dress like this for a rave. But today I'm just going into my local shops to buy some photo frames. So I think I'm gonna get some looks because no one really dresses like this there, that's for sure. But it is a really fun outfit and I especially love this top. So although it's not my usual style, I kind of dig it and wish I was going to a festival because it looks pretty cute. So let's go to the shops and just see what happens. <laughs> Hi guys, so I know I said that I was going to the shops, well I did, I drove all the way to the shops, got there, parked, pulled out my camera because I was ready to like talk to you guys and I realized I had left both my SD card at my apartment and I had left the battery to the camera on charge at my apartment. But I do have a bit of, funny, bit of a funny story for you guys, I never see my neighbours, ever, ever, ever. Every time I leave my apartment there is no one there, it's just me. Today I met three new neighbors looking like this. <laughs> they didn't say a word, none of them said anything. One guy looked me up and down and then like held up his phone. So I was like, great, you're taking a pic of me, aren't you? Like it was so rude. We're in a lift as well, so not a lot of space. Like it wasn't anonymous at all. Like I could definitely tell what he was doing. So I am definitely standing out like a sore thumb in this outfit today and that was the last doll and that is me dressing like dolls kill dolls for a week honestly i had so much fun experimenting with the different styles there wasn't one that i hated some made me step outside of my comfort zone more than others but i still enjoyed it all nonetheless and i really think that i should experiment with my style a little bit more often so which doll did you guys like the best let me know it down in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video be sure 
give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload two new videos every single week. And if you want to see more of my face or if I wear any of these styles in the future, then be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. My links are on the screen right now and also linked down below. Really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it and I'll see you next time. Bye!